everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here hi my name is Carla and welcome to today's video today I'm gonna to be transforming myself into an ABG okay this video idea or concept is not something that I came up with in fact I have been seeing all over YouTube and that's where I got the inspiration from and I just thought I'd try it myself um, but if you haven't seen any of the videos that's circulating the internet, let me just read it out loud for you, basically what ABG means. So according to this article by likely.com.malaysia, so ABG means Asian baby girl or Asian baby gangster. I didn't know that, but I always knew it was Asian baby girl. Anyway, Asian baby girls tend to thrive both socially and aesthetically. These are the girls who know the value of Instagram, bubble tea, and all things trendy. So I don't think I am fully qualified to be an ABG. Um, I am Asian, okay, so it's partially qualified. But I don't think I'm a baby girl. Like never a baby girl material. Now I know that for sure, so we'll go and see if I fit the five signs that it says according to this article. So number one, your hair is hella blonde. So definitely not, my hair is not blonde, but there was once or twice, three times? More than three times I think that I have been blonde in my life and so no, I don't think so. I still don't qualify as an ABG. Number two, you love bubble tea more than life itself. Uh, not true, I like milk tea, I don't like boba. So already not qualified. Your makeup game is stronger than Hong. I am lazy when it comes to food, putting makeup on, so I don't think I really will ever qualify for an ABG. But let's go with it. Number four, you hit the clubs pretty often. No, uh, not often, occasionally, yes. And your Instagram game is unbeatable. That's subjective, but it's up to you guys to decide. You can go and check out my Instagram actually. Go and follow me at Miss Carla by Life. Now, I know for sure I'm not an ABG, but I'm gonna go and try and transform myself at least to look like one, to catfish the internet pretty much. This is gonna rely heavily on my makeup skills or lack thereof. I am not a makeup artist, I am not a makeup professional, nor am I a beauty or a makeup vlogger. So this is something I'm gonna do just for fun, just letting you guys know in case you go and start judging me. I have a bunch of makeup right here with me. And actually the reason I'm doing this video is because I haven't used a lot of my makeup, uh, especially during the quarantine, um, but even way before that, I already haven't been using them that much. And for someone who's so lazy to put makeup on, I don't know why I have accumulated a lot. Like I have a lot of makeup eyeshadow palette in front of me. Case in point, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So for someone who don't do makeup, yeah, that is quite a lot. So I'm just trying to find a reason for me to use all of these palettes and this is one of them. So let's make the best use of these palettes before they go and, you know, expire. Let's go ahead. I am just gonna wing this whole thing. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let me start off with my Water Glow Base Corrector. This is from Laneige. So I don't know if this is the right um, color corrector that I should be using, but every time I do use this color corrector, Glow Base Corrector, it does tend to um, brighten up my face so that is something I think I've been using it for my work makeup which is pretty basic really almost non-existent just this and um concealer and I'll just fix my brows and um, some lip gloss and sometimes color tint and then that's it but that's not what we're doing today today we're gonna go all out okay we'll stop rambling that is that we're done the second thing that i'm gonna go with is ooh, today we are using foundation so which one am i gonna go for but fenty always finishes up really nicely maybe i'll go with this one today since we're going all out if all else fails we can use both i don't know if that's a good thing but you know there are no rules to make up as far as i'm concerned so we will just go with the flow and see how it goes I don't know if my skin color changed, I mean my skin tone But I feel like this Fenty foundation is a bit too orange for me now I don't know if you guys see that in camera, but I feel like it's a bit too orange for me I'll mix it up with the other one, um, the Fenty Sealer by Tarte because I feel like the Fenty one is too orange Okay, this is so much more my shade at the moment I need some sun you guys, but I really would like to go to the beach very soon okay i think that is looking so much better than earlier i'm almost out of concealer how's it looking now it's time to conceal the blemishes and i'm 
like I said, I'm almost out. So I use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer every single day. I cannot leave the house without this. This is my go-to. It's about time to restock, but I haven't made a trip to Sephora because I find it boring. Because of the pandemic, there's no, there are no testers in Sephora at the moment and that's kind of the only thing that makes Sephora interesting, you know, going there and playing around with all the testers. But now that the testers are gone, I kind of just find it boring to go there unless you really, really like need to buy something that you already know what to buy and you don't necessarily have to test product. Which in this case, I actually do, but it's just extra fun having to test products in Sephora. I'm actually going on a mini vacation with Pierre this weekend and we are going to visit one of Malaysia's popular island or beach destinations. I won't reveal just yet. I want it to be a surprise because I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog as usual. I haven't oh I haven't done a travel vlog in a really long time. And I really miss traveling. So this is like the first ever travel, interstate travel that I'm gonna be doing. Um, post lockdown. There was so much travel plans lined up for this year before the pandemic hit and now everything's just cancelled and you know I'm thankful that we're all safe in that but part of me is still kind of sad that nothing pushed through with everything that was planned for this year. It was supposedly an exciting year. Well, it is an exciting year, right? has been an exciting year so far oh and yeah actually i am supposed to be getting married this year but because of the pandemic my wedding had to be moved to next year i actually haven't announced on social media i haven't really told people in the office officially but okay i think this is like the very first time ever that i'm mentioning this on social media so yeah you guys heard it from me first now i'm gonna go and do my eyebrows I am using one of the eyebrow pal eyebrow palettes? No, one of my eyeshadow palettes because I don't own an eyebrow palette. This is the B Bella Basic Brow Palette. Basic what? What did I say? Basic browns, not bro. <laughs> Basic browns palette. I don't usually mattify myself, but I think I'm gonna try and do so this time. Um oh. I don't have translucent powder. Never mind, you know what? I'm just gonna bronze myself up. I think we should highlight and contour. So I think I can use this one to brighten my under eye. You can see my battery is blinking. I'll change my battery first, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Where was I? Lo and behold, I actually do not have eyeshadow brushes. Hold on, let me try to find something. I found one, a tiny one. Let's see if this will work. My chair is making so much noise. Let's go with something fancy, like red. Glam reflection, we'll use this one. This is by BH Cosmetics. It's so much easier to just use my finger. I haven't done a full-on makeup in a really, really long time. Oh my gosh. This all feels so new and alien. I'm not used to looking at myself wearing makeup too. Thick makeup. This is already considered thick. And I know this is not as thick as it gets. But this is already like too thick for me compared to what I usually wear every day. Oh my gosh, I am in bad need of threading, eyebrow threading. My eyebrows is just everywhere. Okay, moving on. Let's go with this rosy color. I don't know if this is gonna suit me. We'll see how it goes. Hmm, not too bad. I should be able to finish this in like half an hour because in half an hour I have a work call. Today's Monday by the way, you guys, and I am off. It feels a bit weird that I don't have to go to work on a Monday. But that's just how it is. I'm off today. This is like so weird that I feel like the colors look so much better on camera. Are we gonna go a bit darker? Okay, here goes nothing. That is actually nice. Okay. I need 
something even darker just to make it really smoky it's gonna come together once I start putting um, eyeliner on I'm gonna throw in a little bit of other colors I'm gonna go into another palette okay then let me just dig into something a little shimmery just to add to that okay i need my mirror so i'm gonna go back to this palette but i'm gonna dip my brush into that and add oh okay that's a nice touch but this one has a lot of fallout compared to the bh cosmetics okay that's not so bad i'm just gonna add some shimmer in the inner corner of my eye i might go with you know what i kind of want to use this aurora lights palette i've been meaning to use it for so long but i never really got the chance to i mean look at this it's just so nice so nice the colors are so nice they're all shimmery shiny and i there was a point in time where i was so into this kind of colors metallic i never even use them but i just like looking at them they're so pretty so let's try and add something metallic to this look right now oh that is shiny this is supposed to be like dark and shiny only see shiny but anyway I don't really see the difference. Oh well. Oh wow. It doesn't look like how it looks on the pan. And you guys can't see it. I can see it. It's kind of purple. It looks so much more pale on the pan, but it's so purplish applied on. I have to come closer for you guys to see that. And then I'm gonna line my eyes. Now this is gonna be tricky because I haven't lined my eyes in a really long time. Bear with me. Your first mistake. That's not so bad. So far, it's okay. It's not straight. <laughs> okay, we'll do the other side. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh, it's not straight though. I still. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I'll try the other one. I did my best. Okay, we're gonna continue. Okay, lipstick then. I'll apply two shades. So one is like brownish. Okay, that's that. And then to make it similar color to my eyes, I'm gonna apply this one, which is kind of um, dark, light purple-ish. I don't know, it has a pink undertone, so. Mm. I'm gonna put some highlight on my face. So this is highlight that I use as a blush. And then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put that on my cheeks and then I'm gonna apply some on the you know, areas where you're supposed to put highlights on. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to look like a clown, not a baby G. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. And then we highlight. Oh, that's a lot. I'm gonna put some on my upper eyelid right there. And then some on my nose. do my hair it's to be super straight or wavy or something of the sort and then i'm gonna put some accessories just a little bit i'll be right back i'll see you in a bit okay i am back and i'm gonna do a little montage of the final look right here you guys i just added some hoop earrings my signature anyway so that was easy and then i just wore a crop top most of the abg transformations i've been seeing they're wearing either a black tube top or a black tank top so i'm just wearing a black crop top i i do have real tattoos okay so like i didn't have to put any fake tattoos whatsoever um i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> just like randomly showing you guys my tattoos but yes i do have like one tattoo here and then i do have like a tattoo here and i have here and i have a couple of here in my arms so yeah what do you think of my transformation i kind of turned out a little pink than i expected i didn't really want it to turn pink i was hoping for something a little bit more like burgundy or maroonish or something like that but we're okay this turned out okay yeah that is it you guys 
thank you so much for watching this attempt to transform myself into an abg i don't know if i did well or not it's up to you guys to decide let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you won't miss out miss mount <laughs> so you won't miss out on any of my new uploads i'll say goodbye to you guys for now and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching again bye